in life science, you are going to start your summary project. So we have been going through these SNAP questions for a really long time due to lots of disruptions in the classroom last week uh, because of homecoming and marching band and all of that. And so today we, we got to finish this up. Okay, so I'm going to give you today and possibly, possibly, don't, I'm not holding my breath on that, uh, tomorrow to finish um, the entire packet. And, you know, you've been going through, and I know a lot of you guys have done some work outside of classroom, of the classroom, and I appreciate it. But the final thing is the synthesis or summary project. And basically, instead of just, um, you know, answering questions that I give you, you have to come up with a project to show that you learned the scientific method. Okay, and there's a variety of different ways that you could do this. Um, number one, you could come up with your own experiments and literally walk um, through all the steps of the scientific method, you know, asking a question, um, form a hypothesis, how would you set up this experiment, only changing one variable, and so on and so forth. Um, so that is one way that you could do this project. Um, the second way is you can form an argument, and there's two ways that you could do that, and you, you would just pick the one. But it says here, write a one-page scientific argument for or against ideas in this activity. And then use and cite evidence to support your argument. So like, um, you know, asking a question, did you feel that when we were going through this project that it did a good job, you know, asking, you know, getting the point across of, of asking questions. Um, forming an argument option number two says many scientists believe only data generated from control, controlled experiments is reliable data. So remember that a controlled experiment is where only one thing is changed, one variable. So if you're looking at how sunlight affects plants, the only thing you're changing is sunlight. Everything else is the same, the same soil, the same amount of soil, the same water, the same seeds, the same container, um, and, and so on and so forth. So it says you will write a one-page argument for or against this idea, arguing why or why not scientists should explicitly follow the scientific method when conducting experiments. Um, you can make a foldable. We've made a foldable with the scientific law versus theory. So your foldable would contain the five steps of the scientific method. I'm sure you could uh, Google online how to make a, a five flap foldable. Um, and you have to make sure it, it includes exercises important to design in that controlled experiment, like how do you identify your variables, analyzing data, so on and so forth. Create an artistic summary. You could write a poem or song about the steps for the scientific method, uh, put it to the tune of another song. You can create a comic, you could paint, you could doodle, you could draw the concepts, studies in this lab. Um, but you know, just know that you will be graded on your artistic creativity. You could utilize technology. You can make a two to five minute podcast, um, make a video. You can do a presentation with animations and share that with me. Um, that summarizes five steps of the scientific method, and you know what what is it? What do you need in order to set up a good experiment? Or you can um, write a children's book, you know, geared towards kind of your age about how scientists perform controlled experiments, and you know, just make sure that you have fonts and graphics and drawings um, associated with that. Okay, so lots of different options. I hope that one of these resonates with you. That you're like, yes, I can totally. I could totally do that about the scientific method. So that's what you're doing today. And then I will check back with you. Um, if it's just a few of you that need to, then I'll just give you a day, but I'm not like, I won't give you class time. We really got to get going here on uh, chapter, starting in our book, The Characteristics of Life. I'm, I'm really excited to get started um, on that. So.